What's going on people, welcome to 137 Works, and today we're going to be having a look at Graphism, the latest VR game on the Oculus slash Meta Quest line of headsets. We're going to be looking specifically at how to make it run as smooth as possible, look as good as possible, while also recording, because, so if that sounds interesting to you, stick around. Yeah, so as I was saying, I noticed in the very first video that I recorded that the performance seemed very choppy while I was recording. Again, I'll leave the link in the description and the card on the screen somewhere here for you to go and check that out if you haven't seen it already, where I just kind of show off all the features of the game as it released in early access a couple of weeks ago and also painted a full kind of process piece to, to kind of show you how everything came together so again that'll be linked in the description or card there if you want to see that but in that video i talked a lot about the performance it seemed to be very choppy very laggy you could just about get through it but the performance just wasn't there it was just it was lacking when you turn recording off for the most part it's absolutely fine it's kind of it seems very smooth and everything but i was just curious to see what the maximum resolution that we could run at while still getting an acceptable performance was and then also what the maximum kind of combination of everything of resolution also then all that kind of stuff not recording and recording. So as you can see here I did a lot of research, took a lot of notes and kind of have everything that I need to be able to relay all of this information back to you guys to save you the hassle. So that's what I'm going to do. If it sounds interesting to see kind of the process and everything, I'll leave timestamps in the description as always if you want to just skip to the specific part. This applies to the Quest 2. I was running it on a Quest 2 using side quest with the CPU and GPU level set to level 4 so kind of running as powerful as possible and it was also plugged into my PC via a link cable. Just for whatever difference that makes, it shouldn't make too much of a difference honestly. It was just obviously I was trying to keep it keep the battery charged and, and get the most amount of performance at the same time while I was doing this testing so and then also just lastly I didn't have any other apps open I had everything closed except for how I was measuring all of this which I was using the OVR metrics tool which again it's just a very lightweight overlay that shows your performance and drop frames and a little graph and stuff like that so that shouldn't be affecting the performance any real drastic way so that's kind of just the setup and how I was recording not a scientific method despite this cool looking page that I was very careful and, and neatly organized about in, in putting it all together so the limitations that I put on was that I'll start at 72 hertz because below that again I'm sure some people will play at 60 but you want to be playing at at least the 72 hertz so like 72 hertz minimum and we're going from 30 72 so the highest level that side quest will allow you to do all the way down to 12 80 which is the kind of bare minimum visually that i would personally be accepting anything lower than that i think it's 768 or something like that is just it's too it becomes too blurry too just anything that's more than like a meter away is just a blurry mess for me personally so 12 80 was the minimum that i was willing to do for this test there's also the quest 2 default resolution which for my testing it seemed to be 15 30 if you google it it does say 2048 for my testing it was definitely 1536 we'll get into what everything means in a moment but just kind of giving you some idea so yeah i did the test in 72 hertz recording and not recording and then recording and not recording in 90 hertz we could i could have done 120 hertz but again you kind of learn fairly quickly that it's pointless because there's some you get to a certain level of settings at 90 hertz where the game becomes unplayable recording or not recording just unfortunately again it's it is kind of it's a five year old headset at this point you know there's been two generations since if you think about it three actually if you include the quest pro quest pro quest 3 and quest 3s so it's quite, quite it's relatively out of date at this point no harm no foul it does run well when it runs well so that's 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 the plus side one last note then this is very specific to the quest 2 obviously because that's what i'm testing it on but i'd imagine you can just take this and run with it for your quest 3 so any settings that i recommend or anything that i test here maybe a step up so if i recommend one resolution at 72 hertz and i'm like yeah locked in works perfectly you can take a step up from there on your quest 3 and then go from there basically go to 90 hertz and keep that resolution and then up the resolution up more and if that works fine go up to 120 hertz like for all i know and i'd imagine quest 3 probably would run this game at 120 hertz on the max like 3072 or whatever i don't know for sure i, I would have to ask somebody that, that has experienced that yeah it this should just give you a good base to go off anyway because you know quest one it might perform a little worse quest two this, these are the settings obviously and then quest three and quest 3s should be a level above where you can get better performance then again so the things that you'll need you need your headset obviously you need a copy of the game obviously but you'll also need side quest i'm not going to walk through how to install in that that is not what this is for that's not within the remit of this video it doesn't make any sense to like you know walk through the process of installing side quest and all kinds of stuff there's full dedicated videos to that because it is a bit of an involved process you kind of only want to be doing this stuff if you have kind of a techie kind of head screwed onto you but again once you've watched these videos and followed the steps it's actually not that hard you just click some buttons and you have to sign up for like a developer account on oculus and stuff it's a bit round and about but it's definitely worth it if you want to be able to tinker with the performance and stuff like that so yeah this is what side quest looks like basically this is the tool that you're going to need this is where you change all your settings so for example i will just show you the setup that i have it on pay no mind to the specifics here as i said we'll get into it when it comes to the actual testing part this is just kind of some of the options so you can set the gpu and C cpu and gpu level again set by app which is default most apps will tend to run it at the highest setting but just to be sure you're getting the absolute maximum of performance which just keep in mind i will chew through your battery quite a bit more i just have it set by level of default texture size is for some reason 
what they described the in-game resolution as. So I don't know why they use texture size. Like it's basically the in-app resolution. So you've got default quest one, default quest two, default quest three, 512, 768, 2024, 1280, so on and so forth. Again, when you Google it, like I was saying, I believe they claim that 2048 is the default. Now it might be, but at least in graphism, the performance when you start recording on 2048 is basically impossible, as we'll get into. And the actual gameplay chops down from 72 hertz to 36 hertz, so it goes like into ASW or whatever. So I don't think it is, or at least maybe graphism brings it down to 1536 so it doesn't use the default something like that something funky has happened in there but basically this is how you change the options once you've got everything installed and set up in, in side quest then you've got refresh rate which allows you again 60 most people i wouldn't imagine would be using that it's not again it's just not worth it 72 hertz which is the default on the quest 2 90 hertz which is kind of probably the sweet spot sort of thing it is kind of most people's default to their, their go-to standard refresh rate and then 120 hertz which again if you've got a quest 3 and you can potentially return to the settings that might be an option there unfortunately again short of absolutely abysmal visuals like drop it down to 512 or something that's just not an option for us out here on the um on the on the quest 2 unfortunately i've also got for again for the sake of purposes and if you're trying to match up everything i have the fixed foveated rendering which lowers the quality by reducing the amount of pixels and, and kind of resolution toward the edges of your vision i have got that to the high top because i personally i'm only looking at one sweet spot if i need to look somewhere else i'm more often than not turning my head so looking directly ahead at the sharpest part of the image again it, and it doesn't also make a huge difference but just for the sake of getting as much uh, performance as possible I went with high top chromatic aberration I have just turned off because I just turned that off in everything every, every since it's ever been brought in I have it turned off in any game that's ever featured in I turn it off because I just don't like it like my eyes are not a camera lens like it, it doesn't make any sense then just just recording settings so this again just to give you an idea so when I'm recording and it's making the frame rate choppy it's probably because I'm not recording at 640 by 480 at 24 FPS at the lowest bit rate it's because I'm trying to get the best quality possible for like YouTube videos and stuff I'm recording at 1080p 60 FPS at the maximum bit rate possible 20 mbps that's pretty much all you need to do there as far as i know again i will leave a link on how to set up side quest and enable adb and enable developer mode and all kinds of stuff i'm sure there's a video that i've watched at, at some point that i'll be able to link in the description that will kind of walk through that so so that is all the kind of preamble and the setup for how everything works and, and how i come up with this testing methodology and what everything means essentially and how i change everything let's get into the actual numbers so starting with not recording so if you just want to play the game starting at 72 hertz the highest resolution of 3072 the game just does doesn't load recording and also not recording doesn't load it just won't load it's just too high quality the game will not it just doesn't have the power to, to, to even start up bumping it down then to 2560 it is extremely choppy i was seeing 24 fps the painting motion was jerky you were getting those kind of like dotted lines jaggy lines spotted lines and stuff but it does look good visually it's very high quality the resolution is great and you know you can see all things off in the distance super clear so if somehow you want to put up with that for the sake of it looking as good as possible 2560 as good as is as good as the game can look while also just actually just objectively running runs awful feels awful in your headset with such a choppy frame rate uh but it do, it does when for each few frames that you are seeing those frames do look very good moving on then we have 2048 i was seeing 36 fps which to me says asynchronous warp so half of 72 and then weirdly enough same as before so this is why when i was saying that i seen that on google apparently the quest 2's default resolution is 2048 i think graphism is bumping it down to the next one below that that's just something to keep in mind 36 fps so it is smoother than the 24 ish that i was getting but it was again the painting feel was jerky it was sluggish and that kind of thing but it did look good again so so 2048 does still look good you're not getting so many jaggies it's it's kind of clear again if you're happy with an asynchronous warp weird looking 36 fps but for a pretty good looking game 2048 that that'll do the sweet spot that i found it 1536 which i think is what the game is running natively pretty much locked at 72 fps i can't pretty much unlocked there at oxymoron i'm aware i noted down that there was occasional slight dips mostly locked though fine but not actually locked so that's pretty much what i just said there so it's a bit of an oxymoron to say that to use the word locked like a locked frame rate but then say that's varying the one thing that i will also know i'll state this very early and i'll mention it again in the kind of wrap up at the end of the video the game generally is just not optimized there's one particular part of the subway map in particular when you're facing the vending machine if you're painting or tagging that specifically when you're looking at it it just completely annihilates the frame rate for some reason i don't know why that is i don't know if there's something specifically a load of polygons or, or what in that specific area 
that are just obviously demanding so much more power unoptimized in that little section of that map but uh, yeah it's really bad and just generally if you're standing at one end of the subway station and you're looking down towards that end when there's like kind of smoke effects off in the air and, air and stuff it does that also just something about that general corner like is, is the, the, the performance absolutely tanks down there so that's when I noticed a lot of the slight dips but mostly when you're standing at the wall painting it's 72 fps and then 1280 same as the above as far as kind of the, the performance and everything mostly absolutely fine but just occasional dips and again I just think that's down to the optimization of the game so my pick for not recording at 72 hertz would be 1536 so 1536 72 hertz that's if you're not recording again obviously 72 hertz will be your will give, give you the extra battery life instead of using the 90 so probably not a huge savings but just something to think about next up we have recording at 72 hertz so we have same thing 3072 doesn't load same as the first one just doesn't load 2560 the game crashes so it will load but it crashes if you're playing at 2560 because you're happy to put up with that choppy 24 fps but you then try to start recording kaput the game game is completely the game's completely dead so pretty much same as 3072 essentially just doesn't doesn't function then we come on to 2048 36 fps so we're getting the performance at 2048 roughly that we were getting at 2048 while not recording which i thought was interesting but it's basically unplayable whereas it was a bit jerky and not pleasant and stuff like that when it was not recording when you are recording it's just nigh on unplayable you just everything is just so juddery and messy in front of your eyes like i actually know them hurts eyes it's actually physically like oh uncomfortable so don't recommend 2048 moving on then 1536 which was the sweet spot obviously as i was just saying there that's the one i'd recommend for 72 fps not recording for recording it's inconsistent it can be a solid 72 fps by the wall so when you're standing right by the wall there's nothing else in your vision you can kind of get pretty decent but it stutters otherwise so it depends that this is the this is one of the tricky ones so if you're okay with a couple of stutters and it not being you know the smoothest experience in the world and not being absolutely locked recording at 1536 is probably one of the kind of better sweet spots that you can get there but what i did notice is that at 1280 it's near perfect it is locked in at 72 fps so you just again you lose that little bit of visual quality but the trade-off is you get basically a nearly perfect performance so it just depends it's going to be up to the user while recording i would probably use 1280 unless i'm on maybe there's like you know different maps have slightly variations slight variations different parts of the maps have slight variations of performance so i could do 1536 on say the rooftop wall if i'm looking at one of the, the bigger walls so it, it can it can just depend yeah so that's basically that's for that's 72 hertz coverage that's recording and not recording my recommendation when not recording 1536 when you are wanting to record just bump it down to 1280 both for the viewer and for your experience the frame rate and the visuals you're going to be getting a good smooth frame rate recording for the video but also like you're not trading off too much visual quality when you're when you're when you're painting so again it's up to everybody individually but that's my recommendation 1536 for not recording 1280 for when recording okay so moving on to the 90 hertz test now because i know that's most people's bare minimum a lot of people won't even use the 72 hertz default that the oculus quest 2 is they will prefer 90 hertz or nothing or, or above really in this instance since i knew that again 3072 2560 and 2080 weren't even particularly playable at all more or less on the 72 hertz setting on the 90 hertz setting i just didn't even bother to test them i also didn't test 1536 here because it was essentially unplayable it was like 1536 at 90 hertz was basically what 2048 and 2560 was for 72 hertz so it was possible i just wouldn't subject you to it so that's my recommendation not even not recording at 90 hertz 1536 just it's it's not pleasant so starting from 1280 the notes that i have are that it's mostly good it can drop not noticeable mostly and what i mean by that is that it so mostly it's mostly fine at the 90 hertz but it can kind of drop down into those kind of 70s and 80s it's more the frame time it's the inconsistency that happens like you'll be painting along fine and then you'll hit something and it'll drop down it's just that the fact that it's not an absolutely buttery smooth locked kind of 90 hertz that's what i mean by you know it's not noticeable mostly you won't notice it for the most part but when you notice it you notice it and now again i'm using a visual like in headset kind of uh, frame counter so i'm also seeing like a little graph and i'm noticing a bit more because i'm seeing the numbers dip you can definitely still notice it. you can definitely still kind of get the feeling that you're missing some frames and some choppiness is happening so with that in mind 1024 i have almost locked if you want to put it that way because i wrote locked and then i realized the more that i was playing and i was kind of like spraying stuff like that i was getting a couple tiny little just little bits of pieces there so i don't want to say locked without meaning locked i mean you can play for as long as possible and you just don't see that sharp dip you know more than a couple of frames here and there or whatever over the course of like 10 15 minutes 20 minutes and a half an hour an hour that's my idea of locked so what i mean by almost locked is it's 
basically fine it's basically just absolutely fine the more often than not it's going to be absolutely grand it's just in certain spots i have here again like that vending machine on the subway platform i don't know what that is but the problem with this is it's ugly slash low res so i didn't know what way to put it everything off at a distance is basically kind of low if there's a sign off at a distance it's barely legible you can't make it out things are very jaggy and you know just it's just not good looking it's just low res the next option then is 768 which i just wrote no good like <laughs> so just at that point it becomes so ugly that it's not worth the point it's not really worth playing at that point just the visuals are, are just no good for a game that's based on art and colors and drawings and shapes and stuff like that to have it be visually ugly and unappealed and then low res and kind of jaggies everywhere and stuff like that like you know at that point it's just like why bother so that's just you know 10 24 minimum again i'll get to my overall verdict at the end but that's just that's not recording 90 hertz covered and we will move on now and do recording at 90 so the notes here are going to seem kind of strange because it was a strange experience recording at 90 hertz at 1280 okay against the wall choppy otherwise so if you're directly up against the wall it's okay so again you're talking like you're getting that 90 ish kind of 70 80 90 just very choppy and just very unpleasant and that juddery awful like almost double vision everywhere else but if you're just up against like the, one of the main walls like again my main test scenario was the subway station if you're up against the main wall there and you're right up next to it it's fine not great it's not ideal but it's fine if you absolutely must have that kind of like that mostly 90 thing next then is 1024 i have to hear okay it works it's just slightly choppy so again you're getting that low res ugliness but it works so if you absolutely must record at 90 hertz it, it works and then 768 again no good it wasn't any good not recording it's obviously not gonna be any good recording so that's kind of the overall notes that i have here that's basically everything that i've written on this page that i keep showing it it's not perfect again it's what i keep saying it's like the game just absolutely needs a, an optimization pass it's I, again i made some notes here it's particularly when they, when it's struggling already so again if you're trying to run it at like say 1280 while recording at 90 hertz painting then adds seems to be like the, the straw that breaks the camel's back where you're just asking the processor to do too much the maths and the calculations and the algorithm that works that, that's working behind the scenes to figure out where the paint needs to go and all kind of stuff just seems to be what pushes it over the edge and then you just start to see crazy frame drops down into the 40s 30s 40s 50s when you combine that with certain areas of the map being seemingly madly unoptimized it just it combines for like a really just terrible experience like genuinely the worst case scenario that you could have is let's say recording at 90 hertz at 1280 and then you go and try to tag the vending machine it just it just becomes a mess now obviously not the worst case you could try to do at 2048 <laughs> like obviously you could try to bump it up to 2048 at 90 hertz and try to record it or worse like obviously not the actual worst case scenario the, the worst case scenario in which it will still function and be like a, a game that you can play without crashing yeah it just it's there's just there's a combination of certain things where it just becomes a disaster so the game definitely needs an optimization pass and i look forward to happening or at least when it comes out on the steam and you can use the full might of the graphics card that's going to be a big help i think but with that said we're going to end off now with my overall recommendations for 72 hertz when you're not recording 1536 that just seems to be the speed spot it's the highest kind of res before it starts to be it starts to be a mess at 72 hertz while recording 1280 that's just that seems to be the the, the, the kind of the, the, the best sweet spot for me personally for most people though i think the 90 hertz not recording will be 1280 so that's 90 hertz not recording 1280 should be grand that i have i've written next to that that's the sweet spot for most people i think you will again still get them little stories here and there but for most people that would be the sweet spot you're getting the 90 hertz so you're getting the smooth frame rate for the most part and you know if, if you're not recording you're getting the good visuals and stuff then 90 hertz recording i just wrote na I just wouldn't do it. I just don't think I'd do it. Especially since, like, for your YouTube video, you only need 60 FPS. Do you know what kind of way? Like, it's that's the maximum. So it's not like the viewers can see any more frames on that. I'm sure it'd be nicer for you and your headset. If you absolutely had to, 1280 or potentially 1024. But again, the, the game is so visually ugly at 1024. It, that's not going to be great for your audience. It's not going to be great for you painting. So yeah, you could do 1280. But again, it's just as soon as you move away from the wall surface and start moving around the map, it's going to be a chuggy mess. It's going to be awful for your viewers watching and stuff like that. So I just, I just think if you're going to be recording, drop it down to 72 hertz stick it at 1280 and what you will again still get those little hitches by and large you'll get perfectly good performance you get 1080p 60 fps video that's not story that's not a mess and that your viewers will appreciate watching without making them feel motion sick because they're getting absolutely just an awful choppy experience so that's kind of the the, the overall recommendation 1280 is the sweet spot so 1280 i would just leave it probably at that unless you don't mind the 72 hertz default and if you're not recording so if you're not recording at 72 hertz you don't mind that 
you can bump it up to the 1536 otherwise i would just leave it at 1280 that's my recommendation so that's it yeah that's the deep dive that was good that was a good few hours work this evening it's a bit of fun i hope you found it useful i uh, like to do these kind of videos where i do the work so you don't have to I, t I tend to find that they are well appreciated and that means a lot so if you did find it useful please do leave a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here thanks for watching and goodbye